Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. Like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. I'm here with Rhonda Vance from Prospera Credit Union, looking very sunshiny today in, in your uh, bright yellows. Tell us a little bit about uh, what Prospera Credit Union's done this year to help raise funds. Well, our Prospera Credit Union, we raise funds, a lot of it is staff and members, and this year we um, participate, we do extra Jeans Weeks as a, a, to go along with the Jeans Day, and we also were participating in the Miracle Marathon this year. So it was um, it's a good experience to experience the that for our uh, for our team and I understand you're the the company also does a match program as well yes um, the uh, the corporate we get a corporate match on the funds that we raise and they match 50 cents on the dollar that we raise so yeah everyone's getting involved okay kids I know you've been practicing it's time for the big reveal let's see what Prospera Credit Union raised there you go let's see it what do we got we have sixty six thousand dollars hey nice number sixty six thousand thanks so much uh, prospera credit union here with val Mackey, and she's the uh, chair of the credit unions insurance and financial services committee which very fancy title what do you do to raise money for bc children's hospital uh, we, we come together collectively we're involved in slow pitch tournaments uh jeans days uh bake sales jersey raffles so we collectively come together and raise lots of money throughout the entire year, and this is kind of the big reveal, right? Yes. And that's why we brought in the big guns. So uh, we've got some very special people with some very special pictures that are gonna help Val and I reveal just how much money you guys were able to raise. Okay, so are we gonna get started? All right, here we go. First number is six, four, eight, three, three, four. Yeah, Wayne, did you get that total? $433,000 and counting. Thank you so much, Val. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all, and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Jogan Hospital. <laughs> Well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved. And it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. And we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged, and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. 
an incredible moment this is. The energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle Weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing mm -hmm. weekend it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah, do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One. One. Six. Columbia, that was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Alex. Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Thank you. Lost in their play through grateful eyes, you can hear them say. Someday what happens for you And the peace comes to you from above Miracles happen with love Miracles happen with love And with help from the angel and all of us Miracles happen, oh yes they do Here's open someday what happens for you And peace comes to you from above